Aries. Come on in the building, guys. You guys are up next. I hope everyone is doing well. <clears throat> this is going to be from December the 19th through January the 5th, all right? So let's see what's going on with Aries. Let's see what's going on in love. What messages do we have for Aries in love? This is for sun, moon, and rising Aries, okay? So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, moon, rising, you can apply this video. All right, guys, bottom of the deck, we have this could be the one. All right, so you have already met the romantic partner that you see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, Aries. Aries, Aries. Give me some clarifiers. This is very interesting. What messages do we have for Aries? Please give me clarifiers. All right, so guys, so past energy, we have reconciliation. All right, so someone from the past has returned to your love life. Y'all don't let them exes come back <laughs> or they're trying to come back. All right, present energy, we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you closer together. All right. And future energy, guys, we have wedding. So this situation involves marriage. So let's get some clarifiers, guys. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. So you guys are preparing, making plans. Or maybe there's possibly some regrets. Someone is having some regrets about something here as well. And I think you, some of you guys are looking forward to the future. All right. So let's see. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So some of you guys are, are dealing with some regrets. Some of you guys are mourning over the past. Um, and I feel like there's someone that you want to come back or someone you want to go back to. There could be um, a fire sign involved or an Aquarius. But we have the star card, which is the, the card of Aquarius. Okay. So there could be an Aquarius involved. Or this is just having hope and having faith, okay? This Knight of Wands is, is fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But this talks about this right here. Going back and forth. In and out, okay? So you're hoping that someone comes back. And we have the Emperor card, which is the card of Aries. So you're hoping that someone comes back, okay? Presently, you're trying to call this person in, okay? Someone walked away. Someone decided to drop this burden. You've decided possibly to drop this burden, to let this burden go and move on. Um, or they decided to walk away. I feel like you want them back. I feel like you guys are wanting someone back. With wedding going into the near future, we have the high priestess. This is the card of Pisces, but this is to having an intuition. Okay, so you feel like I, my intuition is telling me either that this person is married or that you want to marry this person. We got the six of wands, which is about success, which is about being on your A game, which is on. So maybe you feel like, you know, I know I need to get up on my, I need to come, I need to get up on my shit. Some of this is telling me, and some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. Maybe you're trying to surprise somebody. Maybe you're trying to keep this a secret. But maybe you want to propose to someone, or because or some of you guys are wanting to be proposed to, or you feel like, you know, I know that this person is going to propose to me. 
If if I let them come back or if I go back to them, um, I know I need to be on my A game. I need to be on top of everything. And, you know, maybe I can try to surprise them with the ring or maybe they'll surprise me with the ring. But someone is, I feel like someone is, is, is trying to um, accept the situation, but it's having a hard time accepting the situation for what it is right now. Someone is wanting someone to come back. And I feel like it's you guys that is wanting someone to return. You're hoping that this person returns and you're hoping that this person proposes to you. What additional messages do we have for Aries? What additional messages do we have for Aries? This is from December 19th through January 5th. All right, bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio's energy. But I do feel like some of you guys are trying to hide how you feel. I feel like, that's what I feel like. I feel like there is, a, I feel like some of you guys are trying to possibly express, uh, express how you feel or some of you guys are afraid to express how you feel. Some of you guys are tired of trying to work something out. Some of you are tired of trying to or of always having to be the one to fix the situation i feel like you do want to fix this situation now i feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with the libra gemini aquarius You want them to come, you want them to come for you. You want them to, you're tired of trying to fix this. You want it to be fixed. You want to work this conflict out. But I feel like you want them to come and express themselves to you about how they feel for a change. I feel like you possibly are tired of, of being the one to have to fix everything. I'm getting Leo's energy as well, too. Yeah, you want them to take action. And I feel like some of you guys are like going into the near future is feeling possibly rejected or abandoned or left out in the cold. Um, but I do still sense that there is a strong foundation here, a strong um, family here, a family unit. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Or some of you guys are possibly like having um, financial issues. Well, that's the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, we got the Nine of Swords. So it's like kind of feeling worried about some type of truth or clarity. These same cards keep popping up. And some of you guys are dealing with the Leo. Some of y'all are worried about your finances too. I feel like a lot of you guys were being patient in the past. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a uh, Taurus. Well, that's the four of swords here. Yeah. Maybe some of you guys are feeling like if we do this together, then it'll work. And some of you guys are tired of being a provider. Are some of you guys are tired of being the only one to foot the bill or tired of being the one to... Uh, I feel like here with the King of Pentacles, that energy is like, you know, having your funds, having money, being successful in business. So I feel like some of you guys are just tired of, of always having to provide and fix the... And to have to fix this issue all the time. It's like, okay, well, what are you going to do about it? What actions are you going to take? And the foundation would be, you know, I feel like some of you guys are worried about the foundation of this relationship because there could possibly be money issues. Someone is having money issues here. 
And I feel like some of you guys are wanting to come together. It doesn't necessarily even have to do with a marriage. It's just the, the, the partnership, okay? Running it like it's a marriage where some people, you know, put their funds together or they have some type of system to what works for them because every marriage does not go the same. Every marriage, this couple may do things this way, this couple may do things that way, whatever works. Um, I feel like there's a sense of wanting to come together and get some type of routine or organization here because I feel like you are tired of, of doing everything and having to fix everything. That's what I'm getting. All right, so I want to do a past, present, and future for you guys. Please give me a past, present, and future energy for Aries. Oh, I see. I got a card out. Let's see. That was the will of fortune. So maybe there's changes. Things start to change and go in your favor. Let's see. Past, present, and future Aries. All right. Bottom of the deck, guys. The hangman. This is Pisces energy, but this is when there's holes and delays. And the card right after that is the card of waiting as well, which is the three of wands. So it's like you're waiting for something, waiting for a better option. Waiting for a better solution. Some of you guys are decide have decided to ask a mother or ask someone that's older than you or someone that carries motherly energy or baby mother or mother-in-law. I feel like some of you guys were communicating with someone to that nature. Maybe you were deciding to give someone, or you may have told them to ask their mother is what I'm getting. I'm just thinking that like, ask your mom, ask your sister, ask your mother, ask, someone was telling someone to ask someone for something. Presently, I feel like, I feel like some of you guys You plan on, I feel like some of you guys are plan, like planning on giving them what they ask for. But I feel like going into the near future, I feel like you're going to be telling them like save your money. Or you're feeling like you need to save your money. So some of you guys are going to decide to walk away from a situation. Yep. But it's going to be temporarily. It's like temporarily go, get away so you can save. Or some of you are going to be deciding to keep, some of you are going to be deciding to keep your, keep your opinion to yourself and just decide to leave and come back. And then maybe, you know, things will be different. I'm just really getting like, it's, it's so bluntly placed here in front of me. I'm really getting like, some of you guys are communicating with the mother, asking the mother for a favor or getting some advice from a mother figure or someone that is a, a place of important female role in your life. Could be a Leo. And that's what I'm getting for you guys. All right, Aries, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Uh, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what's going on in the comment section. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. See you guys next time. Ciao for now.